Welcome to gray on map. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a blue square and inside this blue square are two segments that are perpendicular to each other. And each has a measure of two units and three units respectively. And we are required to find the area of the blue square. Okay, so uh, what I want you to first notice is that we have these two. Uh, right triangles, this one and this one, and they are right triangles because they are derived from this corner of the square. So one of their angles is from the corners of the square. And notice that if you have this perpendicular uh, seg uh, perpendicularity of these two segments, the two unit segment and the three unit segment inside. Then if this is 90, then this is 90. Then these two angles must be complementary to each other. So if this is A, the complement, so this is A, and this is B. Uh, this should be complementary equal to 90 degrees. And next is since they are from these two, uh, right triangles and each of these right triangle has a pair of complementary angles so if you focus on the right triangle on the lower part of the square this should be a and and for the upper right triangle this should be b and therefore by angle 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 uh, similarity theorem uh, we have these similar two similar triangles. Okay, so by angle 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 similarity theorem, actually this is the converse statement. Two triangles have their corresponding angles equal if on if and only if their corresponding sides are proportional. But in our case, we have proved that uh, the three angles corresponding angles are actually congruent and therefore their uh, corresponding sides are proportional by angle 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 or triple a similarity theorem okay so next is we label the sides and we label the side of this uh, square to be s one side is s and uh, this part we can label this as a and therefore if we label that as a then this segment should be s minus a okay so next is we need to uh, write equations to solve for these two values we actually need only two equations because there are two unknowns but uh, since we are only required to find the area then it is best that we find uh, the value of uh, a square so let we will need to find the value of a square so a square is actually the area of the square the value that we are looking for okay so first equation obviously we can use pythagorean theorem on the lower triangle and that is uh, we can use uh, s square s square plus a square is equal to 3 square or s square plus a square is equal to 9 okay so next is we focus on uh, this smaller right triangle on the upper part upper left part so we can actually use the ratio for the adjacent side of this angle a adjacent side which is s minus a all over the hypotenuse which is 2 so i have just used that because it is already available and if we compare this to the larger right triangle the adjacent side of a is s actually and the hypotenuse is 3 
so because they are the available already so we have used that so next is we cross multiply so we have 3 times s minus a is equal to 2s so 3s minus 3a is equal to 2s so if we put this 2s to the left hand side we have 3s minus 2s is equal to 3a and we have s is equal to 3a 3a and uh, since we are looking for uh, the value of s square to be put in this previous equation so we just need to make this uh, we have to represent a in terms of s so uh, a if we divide both sides by 3 so a is equal to mm, s over 3 and since in the first equation it has an a square and we need to replace that with s square we need to square this so we square these both sides so we have a square is equal to s square over 9 okay so next is we go back to the first equation that we got earlier that is a square plus a square is equal to 9 and we have already represented the value of a square as a square we need to substitute a square over 9 is equal to 9 and we simply factor out this a square for on the left hand side we have a square times 1 plus 1 over 9 is equal to 9 so we have a square so we simply get the lcd and that is 9 divided by uh, 1 so 9 times 1 is 9 plus 9 divided by 9 is 1 times 1 so is equal to 9 so we simply cross multiply so we have uh, s square is equal to 9 times 9 all over 9 plus 1 and therefore we have if we simplify the upper part that is 81 9 times 9 over 10 a square is equal to 10 and since this square is equal to the area so area is equal to a square and a square is equal to area is equal a square is equal to 81 over 10 and therefore the area is 81 over 10 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye